What is going on guys? This is Spade. This video is going to be kind of an update. As most of you guys know, a couple of months ago I built my gaming PC. Uh, I'm going to go over the parts real quick, really quick actually. Uh, the CPU was a C, oh, wow, CMD, was an AMD FX 8350, 16 gigs RAM, uh, Toxic Edition, uh, Sapphire R9280X. But here's the problem. The power supply on that unit surged took everything out with it. The only thing salvageable was the graphics card and the RAM. I had to RMA slash warranty send back the power supply, motherboard, and the CPU to their prospective, you know, people to get replaced. And luckily, they said they will. So what I did is most of you know I don't really play my PS4 anymore, so I decided to sell it. And I know a lot of you are probably going to be upset with me saying that, but I decided to sell it because I never touched it anymore. It was a paperweight. And so I decided to sell that, and my local micro center was selling bundles of... Well, not necessarily a bundle, but I got a really good deal on an i7-4770K a mother a compatible motherboard an LGA 1150 uh, chipset motherboard and a modular Corsair CX 750M power supply and so now my PC is up and running again gaming wise it's I really can't compare you know between AMD or Intel at this point I know at the whenever I first installed everything the HD audio manager was giving me a hell of a fucking problem uh, because it was trying to install a normal codec and that one on top of it, so they kept conflicting and crashing my audio manager. But once I got that situated, the problem was fixed. It wasn't that big of a deal. But now, I really don't know. Like I don't know how to compare the two. I don't know what one excels at better than the other. Uh, I did a couple of test streams with the i7. I think it looks better with the i7 than it did with the AMD. But the AMD handled a lot of the multitasking stuff that I do uh, slightly better. You know, this 4770K has locked up on me a couple of times already, and that's kind of sad. And I I'm not really wanting to overclock it. I mean, it is water-cooled. I have my Corsair H100i uh, water cooler on it, so I could overclock it if I wanted. But I don't. I'm trying to stay away from overclocking because I feel that that's going to get me in more trouble than anything. And considering the i7 is pretty powerful as it is, or the 4770K is pretty solid at that 3.5 as it stands. So I might not mess with it, or I might do a mild overclock to 4 gigahertz, but I really don't know. But anyways, this was a small update to let you guys know the reason why you haven't seen any videos in a few days is because my computer pretty much fried. There was actually a small fire on my motherboard that I had. So... I will be streaming, I will be getting back into videos, but I'm working uh, full time now as well and my daughter will actually be born sometime next week. So my time is going to be limited as some of you guys know that, but I'm still here, I'm still hanging out. And I would show you guys a picture of the Intel build, but it looks exactly the same as my AMD build. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much the exact same motherboard that was the AMD version, it's just the Intel variant. You know, it's everything's pretty much exactly the same. It's hilarious. But anyways, that's it, guys. But for those of you looking to build an i7-4770K system right now, I would definitely advise looking at Micro Center uh, for those of you that have one local to you because I was able to get the, the processor, motherboard, and a power supply for 400 bucks. Check it out. I mean, if you got 400 bucks to spare and want a solid machine, I'd do it. I'd check it out. It's not that bad. But anyways, guys, this was Spade. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.